What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Starting off a vlog on a Wednesday afternoon. I just got back from getting a pedicure. I am going to this holiday party tomorrow and I'm gonna wear heels and all this stuff and I was looking at my toes. I was like, I really need to get a pedicure. Um, so I got that done and then I actually worked this morning. I had a half day of work, which was super nice. And yeah, now we're here. It's two o'clock, starting off a new vlog. Um, I'm just gonna take you guys through the rest of my week. I have a fun event to go to tonight. A couple of things happening the next few days and then Sunday I'm supposed to be shooting with Tony, which is always really fun. And I love bringing you guys to shoots with him. So hopefully that all works out. The weather is supposed to be good right now, but we're like trying to figure out if it's gonna rain or not. So we'll see. Hopefully the weather will be nice and we'll be able to, to do the shoot, but before we get any further into this vlog, I want to take a second to show you guys some pieces that I got in the mail yesterday. I'm actually wearing one of them right now. Um, this cute cashmere cardigan, I'll show you guys in a second. But um, everything that I'm about to show you guys is from Gobi Cashmere and they are actually the sponsor of today's video. So thank you Gobi for working with me. Um, they sent me some beautiful pieces and they have discount code and everything so I'm going to sit down and show you guys what I got. Okay, so for those of you guys who've never heard of Gobi, Gobi is a luxury cashmere fashion brand. Everything is 100% Mongolian cashmere, and let me just tell you, it feels amazing. <laughs> um, but what I love most about Gobi is that everything is sustainably made, and it's also humanely sourced and produced. And those things are just super important to me. Um, I've been talking to you guys a lot about how I want to purchase less from fast fashion brands and I've been really making a huge point of that this year and just creating like a capsule wardrobe of good quality sustainable pieces that are going to last me forever. The timing of this is really perfect because one of the areas that I was kind of struggling in was like layering pieces and, and pieces to keep me warm through the winter. You guys know I love a good turtleneck, I love a good knit sweater um, and so when Gobi reached out to me to work together I was like this is perfect. So. Um, I got a couple of really cute layering pieces I'm going to show you guys. So the first piece that I got is actually the cardigan that I'm wearing right now. It's so cozy and comfortable. I pulled it out of the package last night and I immediately threw it on. It's just easy for lounging around the house, but also cute for over like a nice outfit on Christmas or New Year's. It's just super versatile. So I love this cardigan. The next thing that I got is this zip up turtleneck style sweater and I love this. This is super easy for castings but still keeps you warm, especially on one of those colder days where a simple turtleneck is just not gonna cut it. I love something like this and the zipper in the neck just like adds a little detail to it. I also got one of their regular style turtlenecks and I got this in a navy color because I find myself buying so much black. I was like, let me just switch it up and get navy. So this is their simple turtleneck. I really love this and navy is such an expensive color in my opinion. And then the last top I got is this mock neck style knit sweater um it's like in this beautiful camel color so yeah i love everything that i got from them i did want to share this with you guys now because i think a lot of these pieces can make great gifts for friends or for family for the holidays they also sent me a couple of smaller things which can be great for like stocking stuffers um so i got this beanie in this cute red color this is such a fall winter color i love it um and then i also got these cashmere socks which are so cute and comfy and yeah, just great for like stockings or for a smaller present. So Gobi is giving me a 20% discount code for you guys if you're interested in shopping. So I'll leave the code on the screen. And they're also offering a couple of holiday specials, which you will get at checkout if you spend over a certain amount of money. So if you spend over $99, you get a free hat or socks. These are super cute. If you spend over $199, you get a free scarf. And if you spend over $399, you get a free blanket. So. Definitely check them out. I will have the link in the description box. I'll have the discount code in the description box as well. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys buy anything. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a coffee because I need some energy and then I'm gonna do some emails and then we're gonna get ready to head to Soho for the event tonight. Okay guys, it is a couple hours later. I just got to Soho. I am about to meet my friend Aga and we're gonna get some dinner and then we're gonna go to this event. 
for Boda Skins. Some of you guys might remember earlier, I think it was probably like a month ago, I showed you guys a puffer jacket and it was Boda Skins who sent me that. So um, they're based in the UK, but they're here because they're doing a pop-up. And so they invited me and then I invited Aga, so we're gonna go together. It should be really fun. And that's gonna be our night. It's so weird, it's only like five, it's 5.45. It feels like it's nine o'clock. I hate this time of year because I just get so, like, I just get so wrapped up in the nighttime and I, I don't wanna leave the house after 4 p.m. because it's getting dark, but I have to force myself to get out. Friday. I'm on my way to get lunch with this girl Candace. Um, we used to actually work out at Gloveworks together before the pandemic. And yeah, we're just gonna have lunch, catch up, talk about the book. And yeah, yesterday I didn't vlog just because I was at home for the most part. I was doing like a bunch of stuff that goes with sponsorships and stuff. And I was waiting for this sponsorship to get approved. Um, and then last night I had the holiday party. I'm a little hungover today. But uh, you just gotta have fun sometimes and pay for it the next day. So <laughs> I'm gonna have lunch. We're going to Westville, which you guys know is one of my favorite spots. And then I'm gonna head home and probably just lay low for the rest of the day because I'm shooting with Tony on Sunday. So I wanna be like ready and well rested for that shoot. guys I'm home now had such a good time with Candace we literally chatted for like three hours I think it was so nice she's such a normal down-to-earth girl and we were just like talking about everything which is so nice I'm home now I'm gonna take whatever makeup I have on off and then we're gonna do a face mask I just got this new face mask from Sephora the other day I went in to get a foundation brush um, just like one of those flat ones that they use at work because I don't really have like a a foundation brush for liquid foundation. And then I was there with Aga and she picked up this face mask and I was like, oh, I'm going to try this one too. It's from Dr. Jart. It's a soothing hydration solution. So I thought we could do this together and have a little chat. Okay, let's see how this is going to work. I should put my hair in a ponytail. I really hope no one FaceTimes me while I have this on. Okay. Oh wow. Oh my god. Wow. Let's see what it says. 15 to 20 minutes. It definitely doesn't smell very good, but it feels very hydrating, so. 
I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Okay. It's so satisfying. This mask is so good. Oh my gosh. And I always just like love to like rub the extra into my skin. It's like the best feeling ever. I told you guys earlier today that I was kind of hungover and I'm feeling a lot better now, but it's so funny because I used to like beat myself up so much for eating the wrong things or going out and drinking or just like not being on my best behavior. This is like not recently, but this is maybe like the first year or two that I lived in New York. And it's crazy because I'm like in the best place that I've ever been in with my body, with my my confidence, my like mental health, although I've never really struggled with my mental health, but I guess the way that I talk to myself, at the same time it's also like the least restrictive that I've ever been in my life. You know, I I work out obviously because I want to and have to, but I'm working out in a way that makes me happy and it's like a hobby as well. I'm eating so much more flexible and varied than I ever have before. And if there's anything that I've realized over the years is that like putting that pressure on yourself and restricting yourself actually makes it a lot harder to achieve your goals and see progress because when you put stress on your body, you become so consumed and it's like your body almost knows that you're putting stress on it and just holds on to everything. And it's not until you let it go and just live your life and do your best that things actually start to happen. Yeah, I don't know, I just I was thinking about it earlier when I was walking to, to lunch. How happy I am to be like in this place with myself where I can just live life. And you know, like today I feel hungover. I had alcohol last night, I had a good dinner last night, and like I just I don't care and I just like pick up where I left off again today, you know what I mean? Without making myself feel guilty or making myself feel like shit because I treated myself last night. Sorry, my phone was going off. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, it's not like I regret that time in my life because I think it taught me so much and you know, having those feelings and like having that like struggle within myself was what inevitably taught me what is actually a healthy relationship with food, what is actually a healthy relationship with exercise, and what like, what happens to me when I over-restrict myself. But sometimes I look back and I'm like, I took things way too seriously and I was way too hard on myself and it just doesn't have to be that way, you know? And it doesn't mean you shouldn't work hard. I, I, I believe that hard work is everything, but yeah, restriction is not the answer, guys. And you have to you have to still be able to have some sort of balance and like harmonize hard work and enjoying life. I don't know. I haven't had these kind of conversations in a while, and it, I think it's because it just really doesn't consume me anymore. Um, a lot of my early early YouTube videos were, you know, based around like what I eat in a day and like the workouts that I do, and like uh, I think I even made a video about like how to slim down your thighs and like. I don't want to discredit those videos because they're valid and like, you know, there's nothing unhealthy that I'm advising, but it's just so nice to be in a place where you're not like consumed by those things anymore. Anyway, my, uh, my message is that you should check in with yourself and you know, if you are the kind of person that beats yourself up after a night of drinking or beats yourself up after having a meal out or having, you know, something that is not so-called healthy like ask yourself why and, and and work on that because it's it's not necessary and um it will actually make life so much more fun and it will make the relationship with yourself a lot healthier as well thought i would share that because it was on my mind and yeah i don't know sometimes i'm like i miss having or i miss miss making videos that are like more of one-on-one -on -one dynamic rather than just like vlogs all the time and I love I love filming vlogs but I think sometimes I resort to making vlogs because they're maybe like a little bit less personal like I can 
I can kind of just like consume the video with my environment or the things that I'm doing or my work and then I actually never really talk, if that makes sense. Like I talk, but I don't, I don't really open up, you know? Um, I feel like the only times that I really open up a little bit is in my Q&As. So maybe I should do Q&As more often. I'm also trying to figure out what I want to do with YouTube for next year because I want to get back to like a regular posting schedule but I don't know if I can do two videos a week. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually posting one video a week every Sunday. I feel like Sunday is just a nice day to post because people are off. A lot of people are just hanging out at home and yeah it's, it just also like makes sense chronologically with the week so I can vlog all week and maybe even make longer videos because they're from the whole week and then post them on Sunday and then have a fresh start on Monday I feel like that would kind of be nice also works really well for my personality um, and yeah I have a couple of ideas that I'm playing with I really would love to like I said just have like more personal conversations conversations with other people um, but I'm sort of waiting to do that until I move into a new apartment where I can maybe have like a nice oh my god this toilet needs to stop making the sound someone came by for it by the way and they said there's nothing wrong with it but they can't they can't fix it so I'll be dealing with that until I move out um, but yeah as I was saying I I want to kind of wait to make those videos until I have a better setup so I'm gonna prioritize that in my next apartment for sure and then start making like mukbang type videos again um, more like connection based videos I'm looking forward to next year I think next year is going to be a really good year exciting videos just like exciting life stuff anyway I'm going to close off this vlog because it's probably really long now with all the talking that I've just done and I've decided that I'm going to start a new vlog for my shoot with Tony and then you guys will have more videos. So, I love you so much. Thank you for watching as always. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.